Hey there, Tim here, and I'm still at home like so many of you. On this remote episode of EDU and 90, we'll be continuing our exploration of Google Meet. On the last episode of this two-part series, we walked through the steps to get set up with Google Meet to make sure that only teachers have the ability to hold large meetings, host live streams, and record. We also looked at how to change video quality settings at the administrator level to preserve bandwidth. And today I'll share some best practices that teachers and students can use to maintain a strong distance learning video experience with Google Meet, even if internet bandwidth is low. Let's get started. With Google Meet's premium features enabled, educators can hold live streams with up to 100,000 people and record them for later viewing. Live streams, which are more like broadcasts than interactive classes, often use less bandwidth than having students join Google Meet individually. When live streaming, educators can use tools like Google Slides Q&A to engage students who are watching. And as a reminder, if you still want to do a fully interactive Meet, you can do so and have up to 250 attendees. Another best practice for preserving bandwidth with Google Meet is to turn off your camera during meetings. Your profile photo will show on screen instead of your video. Just click the video camera icon at the bottom of your Meet screen to turn off your camera. Admins can also select audio only for all Google Meet meetings and participants. Another great aspect of Google Meet is that users can join a video meeting from any device like a laptop or a mobile phone where they have access to their G Suite accounts. This means that students and teachers can join classes anywhere they have an internet connection. If audio over Wi-Fi becomes problematic, participants can always use their mobile phones and networks to dial into Google Meet. Every Meet invitation includes a dial-in number along with the video link. And speaking of audio, it's important to let both students and teachers know that they can turn on live captions in Google Meet. At the bottom of the Meet window, users have the choice to turn on captions. Though live captions aren't recorded, teachers can use the Q&A feature of Google Slides to capture and record questions and answers. Hopefully, these Google Meet tips can help teachers and students in your school continue learning together even when they're apart. That's all for this episode, but be sure to subscribe to the Google for Education YouTube channel for regular updates and for more EDU and 90. We'll see you next time. In the first episode of a two-part series on best practices for distance learning with Google Meet, learn how to set up accounts, enable premium features, and more.